Hi everybody, this is Margaret again. Um, I just did a video on using the Nestability dies in the Texture Boutique right here. Um, so check that out if you haven't seen it. Um, I do not take responsibility if you break yours, but I have had nothing but great results with mine, so have fun with that. Um, this is my living room. This is where I have my crafting station set up. I'm not gonna show you the rest of it because right now I'm kind of in the middle of fixing it up a little bit. I've been um, playing with organization every chance I get, and um, I just started scrapping last June, and this is February 2011, and I think I'm pretty much getting things the way I want them. Yeah, that's pretty gross over there. I'll show you in a second. Anyway, um, this is my common area of the house, and so I, I want to conceal things and keep things nice and neat as much as possible. I know you all seasoned veterans are laughing your heads off at that, but I'm going to try it at least for a while. Um, this is the main desk that I use. This was my dad's. Um, love this old desk. And I just, I use all of these little drawers for all kinds of, it's very organized. Um, this, I might as well show you. I got this at uh, Walmart for $7. And it has all of my walnut inks and my um, alcohol inks from Ranger, um, stamp cleaner, um, water that I just use randomly on my craft mat that's usually right here. Um, so anyway, this is really great for sprays. Love that little dude keeps everything out of the way. There's my buttons over there in a cute little jar. I got it. Cost Plus World Market. Um, so what I wanted to show you was this little dude. I love it. My house, pretty much the common theme of my house is red because it's my favorite color. My camera's red. My phone's red. I love red. Um, there's my new red couch. Love it. Um, anyway, I did not want white, and you can only get this little carousel at Michael's in white. Hobby Lobby has one in black. I'm going to explain these in a minute. But the black one doesn't have all these cute little um, finishings on there, like these little dudes and the little um, drawers, handles. That's magnetic. Picture frame. Um, it's actually exactly the same, but this little... This is a cute little useful thing, uh, rack, key rack style thing. Anyway, I like the design of the one better at Michael's. It's $39.99. I bought it um, with my 40% coupon, so I did pretty well, what, 20, low 20s. Um, I had all of this stuff in a, like a rolling laptop case over here. <laughs> which that's going to be organized but now that's a nice space that I can put another thing right here that I'm going to show you that's got all of my stickers in it so everything's transitioning but I'm so excited to get all of this stuff out on my desk I can get to it these are the very commonly used items um, my husband used a black rust-oleum paint and it turned out so pretty look how shiny and glossy it is it matches my Glossy piano, love it. And there's my craft mat. I was trying to get it out of the way. Anyway, black is my accent in my living room with the red. And so this has made me so happy because I could not find a black one with all these cute little details. So I just took all these off with a Phillips head screw, screwdriver. Mark painted it real well for me. Um, and so it has three drawers. And here I've got circle cutter stuff. So this goes with my circle cutter. These are the handles for my little circle cutter. Um, if you don't know, and these are magnetic, so they actually hold it. If you don't know what that is, there's the circle cutter right there. That's awesome if you don't have one. Um, so, And then here's a little picture frame. I'm going to do, this is just a piece from the all dressed up matte pack. Love that paper. It's just decorative. I like it. Um, and I'm going to do a little initial or something there. Um, what I was going to show you is this is all of my watercolor pencils. And these are my um, neon and glittery pens all in one section. These are my craft scissors, like with all the shapes. This is my little, what do you call that thing? Your swivel knife. And there are deep but 
the ones that are above the drawers are more shallow, so you can put things there that you can actually get to. But if you try to put those in these deeper ones, um, they, they're swallowed up and you can't really grab them. But these work. These are my regular scissors. I have hairspray back here, and that's for making sprays. I'm going to try making some sprays, like a glimmer mist type thing. So anyway, I'm going to try that. But it's kind of hidden back there. You can't even really see it. Um, I have my handy dandy cheapo ruler with the little metal edge, which is great to use when you're using the X-Acto knife. These are all of my just regular, this is my Zig Thin two-way and the big fat one that I use for my silhouette mat. When I need to restick it, this works really well. Um, just Elmer spray adhesive. Um, silver pins, just these are all my fun little white gold pins and whatnot. These are extra. Oh, and my embossing pins and whatnot are in there too. The Perfect Medium from Ranger. Uh, I'm going to store them, as far as I've heard, face down to keep the ink flowing. And these are my little Sharpies that I use on everything. These are great. Walmart special. So, here's my dabbers. Open. This is just a little pack of dabbers. No, I have not used them yet. Distressor, keep that handy. My little precision scissors. Those are just little cheapies. Exacto brand um, from Walmart. This is my Barbie that my daughter bought me for my car that we're refurbishing. But it's going to take forever because my husband has two Chevelles he's working on. But mine's a Metropolitan. I will show you a picture of that later, but anyway, Brina bought me this to put on my rearview mirror. I'm going to paint the car pink and white with a zebra interior. Hi, Barbie! Yeah, so if you knew me, you would totally get it. Brushes for using my um, Perfect Pearls. All of my Bic Market pens, which I think that's what they are. Any, yeah, that, there you go. They're permanent. I use them a lot. They're fun. Um, they're not Copics. I do have four Copics that I got in a trade, and I'm starting to play with those, but I need more colors. So, anyway, and then these are the Marvy brush. Um, these are the brush tip markers for doing your stamps. Those are fun. I'm going to get more of those. And I also found out you can use the Copics on your stamps, the actual stamp itself. Pretty fun. Um... So, this drawer is pokey, rubby, and erasy <laughs> because these are the commonly used things I have to have. This is um, my little embossing tool with the poker on it. Um, I don't know what else you call it, the little piercing tool thing. <laughs> this is the scoring blade for my Cricut trimmer and a white crayon. I use the white crayon for resist love that. All you need is a plain white crayon. Um, and then this is a piece, this is funny. Um, instead of having a matte pack, this is a piece of foam, really dense foam that I got in packaging of something and I use it with my piercing tool when I do need to pierce paper and it works perfectly and it's very small. And then my eraser that I use to condition my clear stamps. You should always condition your stamps first especially if you're using the Marvy markers because the ink will pull up. I learned that on YouTube as well. So anyway, this right here um, originally had a piece of elastic when it was white. We pulled it off, and I'm going to get either black or tan, um, and that will be perfect for some of the shorter items that would get swallowed up in these, and you can just kind of stick them in there. Anyway, um, hope this gives you some ideas. You could put a cute picture in there or a, a sentiment. Just, I love this. If you're like me and you like black and you could not find the cute one in black with all the cute little details, go get yourself one at Michael's. Um, I can't remember the brand, but you'll see it. And it's $40. Use your coupon. Paint it. And be happy. Have a great day.